And just keep going a little bit longer. I'll soon be home and dry. Look at this place. Just look at it, Weasel. <laughs> Doesn't get any better. I don't know what you're laughing at. <sighs> How many more homes have we lost today, Owl? Half a dozen semi-detached burrows, three fully furnished squirrel holes, and at least 15 immaculately kept nests. <laughs> oh, 16. Chopping away at us every day. Still, they're not satisfied. Oh, don't look now. They'll be on us any minute, any second. Ah, uh, our days are numbered. Won't be long now, won't be long now, now that they've filled in the pond. Not Farthing Wood Pond. Correct. Our last remaining watering hole. luck on the ducks <laughs> but we're all right we've still got the stream don't you mean the muddy trickle hmm dear oh dear ah you here too fox just thought we'd wander down and um uh, uh... see the situation Hmm? Oh, yes, uh, for ourselves. Doesn't look too good, does it, old son? And if those big rains don't come soon, then our outlook's... Dicey, hmm? You took the words right out of my mouth. Looks like we've got a bit of a problem. And a major one at that. Important enough to warrant an assembly, I reckon. An assembly, Fox? Get together for all the animals. It's not a party, Weasel. Isn't an, an, an assembly a bit drastic? If this isn't drastic. Hmm, exactly. Then what is? But a farthing wood assembly, Fox? Why, we haven't had one of those in years. Uh, they're only ever called when there's an. Uh, um... Emergency? And I'd call this an emergency. 
You took the words right out of my mouth. Not to put too fine a point on it, without water, we animals of Farthingwood are hardly likely to survive. Hmm, hear, hear. I mean, if you wouldn't call that an emergency, what would you call it? Alice? <laughs> Very funny. Um, but if you don't mind my asking, what'll having some assembly achieve? What can we mere animals do? I'm not sure yet, but I reckon that if you and me and Badger and Weasel can get every single member of our woodland community together fast, then maybe one of us might come up with... A solution? Clever clogs! Clever clogs! Fox is absolutely right, you know, everyone. One just can't panic. No, no, no. One really has to roll up one's fur and do something. Right. right. Of course, persuading our not altogether harmonious population to attend such an assembly will not be what you'd call easy. However, I'm sure you'll sort it out, Badger. Yes, yeah, huh? What? Who? Me? Who better? Well, that's awfully decent of you, Fox, but, uh, um... I mean, after all, you know every one of us hereabouts, don't you? Biggest busybody in the wood. <laughs> Shut up, Weasel. And everybody knows you. So? Oh, absolutely, Fox. Uh, yeah, yeah, just leave um, uh, all the um, arrangements uh, to me, hmm? That's my badger. Knew I could rely on you. Well, don't just stand there dithering as usual, Rabbit. Off you go, and, um... And, and, don't panic. And, uh, alert hair, of course. And as for you, Hedgehog old chap, uh, just roll yourself up and, uh, roll yourself off and uh, start looking for, um, uh, the, the newts. Uh. Ow! Right you are, Badger. Sorry, Weasel. <laughs> hmm? Moe? Did you say Mo? Well, he'll soon come scurrying once he hears all the commotion. What are you going to tell them, Badger? Tell them? To tell everyone we're to meet at, um, my place. Your set? And what is wrong with my set, Weasel? Uh, oh, nothing, Badger. Nothing at all. Only, uh... Get to the point, Weasel. Well, it's all right for you and me and the shrews and the field mice. We're creatures of the underground, right? We're used to it. Only... Only what? The birds ain't gonna like it much, are they, Badger? Imagine Owly! <laughs> and Kestrel! They aren't gonna like it, are they? Yes, well, it won't be for long. And I'm sure they'll realise it's, um, in, in a good cause. Okay. Well, don't just stand around, Weasel. Make yourself useful. Me? Let's go and alert a few voles. And so, Mrs. Vole, Fox and I are agreed that the situation we are facing is so severe as to merit a meeting. What's he doing on about? He's worried whether you're eating! Oh, shut up. We're having a meeting in my chambers. I eat where I like. A meeting at... Sunset! And please, don't be late, Mrs. Vole, and tell the others. Bring your brothers! And tell all the field mice! And tell all the shrews! Okie dokie! <laughs> Is there anyone at all we've forgotten, Weasel? There is. Yes? Your friend and mine. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, make sure you impress upon her that we haven't called this meeting so she can gorge herself on everyone present. You'll be lucky. Now what you doing, Badger? Why, enlarging my set, of course. 
We've a lot of woodlanders coming this evening, you know, Weasel. So make yourself useful. How, Badger? Hmm? Why, by collecting a few glowworms, of course. Like somebody's here already. Oh, somehow I thought it might be you, Owl. You're surely not expecting us to go down there, are you? Yes. Out of the question. You won't get me down there. Told you so. He who dwells in the soil himself becomes soiled. He who dwells in the light shall find enlightenment. Owl, I know I can rely on you to set an example. And I assure you that my home is quite spotless. Well, if you put it that way. Hello, squirrels. Just follow the newts. Follow the field mice hairs. Not late, are we, Badger? Only you know what the females are like. Takes so long to get ready, eh? It's always my fault. Of course. Now, are we all here? Not last, am I, Badger? Well, somebody has to be, Edda. Just follow the glowworms and don't eat. Shucks. I was looking forward to a few glowworms. Listen, everybody. Someone's missing. Who? You know who. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Am I late for something, Pedro? You're always late for everything, Mole. <laughs> <laughs> And fellow woodlanders. What is this all about? Do what get on happen? with it. You don't need me to underline the gravity of our situation. We're all aware that since the giant earth movers moved in, life in Farthingwood has become steadily more and more hazardous. For one and all. I'm still here! First, they devastated our habitat. Now, they've even filled in our pond, filled in our pond. Yet still we've hung in there. Blooded but unbowed. But is there any way out from this dilemma? Where indeed is the solution to our problems? I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm sure, for example, that no one here needs reminding that once upon a time, our farthing wood pond was home to 47 indigenous toads. And where are they now, we ask ourselves? What's happened to the last? Pompous, puffed up toad. Who was always so dear to us all. Hold on. Weasel, what's that? I am holding on. It appears to be... Yes? A foot. I'm here, mateys. I'm coming. Toad. 
Your powers of deduction are admirable, Badger. <laughs> Same old Owly. Same old Toad. Bet you never thought you'd see me again, eh, mateys? We were so certain you'd snuffed it. But where have you been? Where haven't I been, more like? Taken away against my will, weren't I? Hmm? Captivated I were and took off in a jam jar. Urgh. But all the time I were away, I kept saying to myself, Toad, you must get home. It was the thought of you lot that kept me going. Fancy. Must get back to my mate, as I kept thinking. Must get back to my... Pond. Exactly. Speaking of which, um, I'm afraid. What? There's some rather bad news, Toad. It's your poor pond, Toad. You see? It's been filled in. What? You see, Toad, you have to understand there have been a great many changes. While you've been away... But my pond... Gone completely, I'm afraid. And the newt's puddle. <laughs> and the stream. Just a muddy trickle now. Which is why we've called this assembly, Toad. Oh! If we ever get to hold this meeting... You see, we've got to face facts, old son. As a community, we're all but finished here. Man and his machines have seen to that. Don't talk to me about those machines. I know all about them. In fact, it must be obvious to everyone here that... If we don't find a new watering hole within the next few days then we're going to be in the very worst kind of distress, if you know what I mean. Couldn't we try digging for water? In earth as dry as a biscuit? Don't be silly, Mole. What about you birds? You get about a bit, don't you? Got any idea where we could go? Not really, Fox. You see, being game birds, the wife and I don't venture out of the wood very much. Always the danger of being shot at, you see. Um, uh, quite. I knows a place that we could go to. Who asked you? It's a great little place. A wonderful place. Poor old Toad. Obviously rambling, poor fella. Purpose built for animals like us. Was it really, Toad? They calls it White Deer Park, Molly. White Deer? It is a nature preserve. Is it really? It's a place where all wild creatures are protected by humans. If such a place existed, I would know about it. Did you come upon this dear white place on your travels, Toad? That I did, Molly. Her. Dear White Park, eh? Hmm. White Deer Park. Never heard of either of them. Well, I know it well. And nowhere is better, I reckon. Well, Fox, what do you think? Have we any alternative? Um, quite. Then White Deer Park it is, everyone. What? All those in favour. Aye. Yes. <laughs> well done, Toad. Hooray! We're going away, we're going away, we're going to White Deer Park. We're going away. We're going away, we're going away, we're going to White Deer Park. We're not going to stay. <sighs> and it's all going to be... A great lark! Will you just hang on a minute, you lot? We're going away, we're going away, we're going to... Excuse me! Happens there's someone else here as like to be... Heard? Typical hair. Trust him to spoil things. Well, hair, what is it? We're all ears, hair. Do I hear right, or do I not hear right? Are you actually suggesting, Badger, that, that we uh, travel to this here white, white deer park? park together? Of course, here. 
Naturally. You mean vegetarians like us, alongside our natural enemies? The carnivores? Well... You're expecting us to accept having a fox along with us? And a thing with claws? Steady on, Hare. And as for that slimy, slithery, sneaky snake... Did someone mention moi? It's eaten half our field mouth population already. Yes, they're so tasty. Hare's got a point, Badger. Which is easily overcome. How, Badger? By the reintroduction of the ancient woodland thou. And what the heck's that when it's at home? Yeah, my late father remembered it when those men first started cutting down our trees to build their little brick and glass boxes. It was called the Oath of Mutual Protection. The Oath of Mutual, mutual protection? protection? It's a promise not to... Frighten? Terrorize nor consume one another. Not eat one another? How's a snake supposed to survive? Quite. So if you'll all please raise your right paw. Or claw. And repeat after me. I, name of animal. I, name of animal. No, I toad. Or, um... I remember it. Yes. I feel to solemnly swear. Do, Do some swear. swear? Not to swallow anybody. Not, Not to swallow. swallow. Except when nobody's looking. While en route to this place of toads, Toad will obviously be our guide on our journey. And leader. And just guide, I think, Toad. But Toad is right. We will need a leader. Someone we can look up to. Someone cunning and uh, courageous and... Preferably not a snake. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. I therefore nominate Fox to be our leader. Fox? Fox? Huh? Are you off your trolley? Hi, Fox. Fox. Thanks a bundle, Badger. Fox? Oh, hi, Fox. No, 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 no. Fox has all the right qualities here. He's an experienced traveler. He roams far and wide over all sorts of terrains, and he's used to scavenging. Huh. Oh, don't be like that, Owl. We can't all be leader. Now, I'm sure we've all got lots of things to do before we leave. Eating up our last few berries and uh, cleaning our fur coats. Oh, just don't forget, midnight. We meet by the Great Beach at midnight. 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 Midnight, midnight. 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 mid